Hello everybody and welcome to my second round World Cup match. Um, so as you can see it started off with a perfect defence. Ornan was the humans and he chose to kick. Um, we both actually qualified through Rebel. Um, he's got a 65% win rate in champs and I've got a 71% win rate. Um, he does have humans with a piling on Mighty Blow guy. He took an extra guard for his skill. I took Mighty Blow for mine to try and you know, get a little bit lucky really. 16 blocks with Mighty Blow, it's probably, a, you know, it's got a chance of evening the odds, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, this, this perfect defense obviously pretty hard. He goes in loads of basing, um, which makes sense. He's got guard and strength advantages at various places. I decide to knock down all these five guys if I can. Uh, there is a way to kind of crack it. And that's about all I can do. Also, this side has then two dodges I can make. I need to get the ball pretty quickly to make sure I had it. Guard here means I need another assist, which was a bit... Sucked a bit. Yeah, yeah, defend the ball first, just in case everything... This I didn't like exposing my leader here, but there was really no other choice. Um, because this guy couldn't reach around. <laughs> reach around. So, yeah, 2D on him get him and I've got a 2d 2d and a 3d and then obviously follow into these guys maybe, maybe I shouldn't have I kind of liked it though and maybe this guy could have gone there, now that I think about it. Now that I know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I like kind of screening off the rest of his team. Um, you know, obviously the perfect defense was really horrible, but I think I, I think I coped with it there well enough. So, you know, yeah, that gives him the, the two dice easily. Um, gets a stun. Which is pretty lucky, isn't it? Even with even with mighty blow, so that's huge. Him got the tree going down there is absolutely huge. So maybe I shouldn't have followed, or and then screened off that way. I don't know. And that lets him get the guard in there. Yeah, that was. Mm. At this point, I'm thinking, oh my god, this is so easy to surf this guy, or or then this guy. And then, of course, he's not brain dead, and he gets the card in. But it was a dodge, though, so actually, no, it wasn't brain dead. That's hard. He was lucky enough to make his dodge in to get that in. Otherwise, he'd have been surfed or chain surfed or God knows what. Um, so with that, you know, he's got so much guard, I just can't make any blocks there. But I do have a few dodge guys. So dodge out. Get a cheeky AV break um, and a KO because of Mighty Blow. Dodge out the catches because they got dodge. You know, I mean, this is enough to defend the ball now. Um, I don't know whether I should have done the. Do See, I think this is. I want him knocked down, but it wasn't really necessary. So I guess I should have gone for the dodge from the uh, from the leader first. Obviously, I, I, maybe normally I would have eaten that, but with it being specifically the leader that was going to get served. Maybe I should have done the leader first. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but with it being the leader, obviously, I was going to use the reroll there. Because if I don't use the reroll, the leader gets surfed and he's gone. So it's kind of free time. He blitzes my scoring threat, which isn't really a scoring threat. It was just somebody who would run away. Um, so, you know, attrition blitz there is fine. The Kaz is, is still lucky. For a piling on mighty blow guy, especially he doesn't have to pile on because if he piled on, he would have been quite out of position there. So you know, both sides a bit lucky so far, I guess. His his perfect defense though, very lucky I think. Um, given the teams, you know, given the races, a perfect defense from from elves isn't as good as, as a perfect defense from like a bash team where they can guard block you and everything. I, I, you know, I did get a perfect defense in my first game, which helped. But it, I think it helps like the bash team a lot more. So yeah, three dice there. You know, he's basing people up, but it's not that scary because I do have dodge on 
on most of them. Some of them. <laughs> Doesn't base him with a tackle, which is maybe a mistake. Feel a stand-up roll there. Brilliant, which would have been good, wouldn't it, to get him stood up. I even considered blitzing with him to then dodge him out in a 2+. plus. Uh, you know, get, get the ball safe first. This is an obvious blitz, isn't it? So you try and get out a little bit. Oh, no, it's not that obvious, actually. No, I did a block. So I could blitz him to get the lineman out. I quite like that play, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously switching sides and that, you know. Humans are quite a fast team with the, with the catchers and the blitzers. But woodies are still faster, aren't they? There was a way for him to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, double GA5 for a 1 dice without tackle. But I wasn't too scared of that. Um, you know. But yeah, huge the tree, staying down, first from the stun and then from the fail stand up. Means these guys are completely trapped. But then he's he's using players to keep these guys completely trapped. Um, which means I'm not so outnumbered. So I'm I'm like I'm liking the fact that I'm keeping these guys down, because you know they'd get three, they'd have three or four plus dodge outs, and I don't want them just take extra AV rolls. And if I stood them up, they're just going to get punched down again. So I quite like keeping them down because they're still occupying the players, um, being being prone. That's the pylon. And there's another. Do I just run up here? No, oh, switch sides again. I think I was trying to get the tree back involved and then this guy as well. Um, no, yeah, and then blitz, blitz the guard. I could, looking back, I could maybe just run up there. His tackle is very relevant though, isn't it? I wanted to go for the guard, greed, greed hit on the guard. Um, you know, maybe I should just blitz this guy to save a dodge. And keep my mighty blow protected. But scary, scary one on the first dodge roll there. But you know this this was still pretty safe, and yeah, I think I think that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get the tree back involved, but failed the failed the stand up roll again. This is pretty tough with like six players basically. <laughs> Not easy. But this is the thing, this is the thing with Wood Elves, isn't it? Wood Elves. Wood Elves can do this kind of thing when they're undermanned, but um, a lot of other teams kind of can't. So he does go for the tackle hit on the dancer, which is which is fair enough. Greed re-rolls it. Which you know you could argue is fair, but only needs him one re-roll for four turns. And then that leaves a bit of space up here. The tree actually stands up. Yay! <laughs> and there was an argument for standing these two guys up now, I guess. So now I can't really blitz with a mighty blow because he's just too far away and blitzing through tackle. I had dodging through tackle, so I can't really do that then. I thought about it though. I thought about trying to blitz the bomber or something. But I thought I've got to get up here. I'm kind of being able to outrun him a little bit here, aren't I? A little bit. And yeah, don't re-roll that dodge. So now it looks a bit crap. <laughs> you know, but three players, <laughs> four players standing up. Um, but you know, he had he had kind of maybe overcommitted a little bit this side. So even though I've hardly got anything, it's um, it's better than nothing, isn't it? He's got the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a GFI or something for a two D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he could have just two D the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could have just two D the ball with a pom, which you know if he gets a pow, he's pretty happy about. Doesn't go for that. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's wrong that he didn't go for that, but it, it was just an option that he didn't take. He's trying to get the tackle, tackle involved. Oh yeah, I rolled a double skull somewhere, didn't I? So I'm down to one reroll. So yeah, I couldn't use my last reroll on that dodge. Yet. I think if I'd had two rerolls, I might have dodged, rerolled that dodge. I might have moved, dodged the dancer first had I had a reroll. 
But because I didn't have a reroll, I didn't want to risk dodging a dancer out. Know? They're pretty good. Now we've got the worst, the worst screen ever here for the for the dancer. And looking back again, um, with a bit of an advantage of of hindsight, I could have maybe geified with the tree here to stand there. That would have been pretty good. Also, maybe this catcher could have gone. Oh, the catcher should have been one back, shouldn't he? The catcher maybe should have been one back. Yes. Yes, the catcher should have been one back. So that, that's a mistake there. Now, that's just a non screen. If I, the catcher one square back could have made a screen with a tree, so that was definitely a mistake there. And and now there's just not a screen, is there? So he can come straight th straight around. So yeah, that was absolutely a mistake. This catcher should be one square behind. Oh, really, really bad mistake. Now that I, now that I watch it back, um, and I didn't realise that at the time. But yeah, that's a bad one. Because I had it in my mind to do this kind of staggered screen. Um, but realistically, you know, which is which is kind of the best. It's kind of good if you've only got two players to do the staggered screen. To stop people getting around, but yeah, with the, the fact it would have made a, a sc uh, screen with the tree, really poor, and it would have made a screen with this guy as well. So yeah, yeah, absolutely poor, um, poor screen. He gets the hit with tackle, but fails that fails the third GFI to make it. So like, you know, that's reasonable that he uses a GFI to get there, and then reasonable therefore that he doesn't pow. But yes, I should have screened correctly. Very, very poor. And he goes for a Randolph foul. He's got the he's got the reserves. There's there's no reason kind of not to foul. Maybe he could have done it with an assist, but you know, fouled a lesser player. But there's so much value on the tackle mighty blow, isn't there? So yeah, here I've got a decent shot to stall here. Um, again, this kind of staggered screen screen is necessary now. This is really unlucky. One in nine on the block. <laughs> and then a one on the dodge. So that's a one in 54 chance. If I had not had to use a reroll here, I would have stood there um, in that square. And even if he knocks me down, he can, you know, he's got to get, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got to get in there. And then he's got two dice. But he hasn't got, he hasn't got tackle, so... I would have, in no reroll, so I would have taken my chances if I had a reroll there, and maybe I should have taken my chances without a reroll. Also, what I wanted to do was go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I would have got a, you know, if I'd got a power on this blitz, or even a push, <laughs> even a push, um, I could have pushed him to there, I would have been stood here, so he'd have needed a four plus dodge to get in. And then I could have screened it all off, so even a push I would have tried to stall. But I got the boat down and I used my reroll dodging away, so I felt like I had no option but to but to score. Um maybe I should have stalled, I would have got a two dice on the POM as well. Um Yeah, maybe maybe I should have done because you know, humans here with two turns, they've got a really good shot to score, even without rerolls. They've got a really good shot to score in two turns, with me only having eight players left. So yeah, oh, switch switch to his view because it's his drive. So yeah, that was maybe I should have still tried to score. So it's hard. Though. I mean, it's a hard thing to judge, isn't it? But I, I probably should have, you know, used the rest of my time. I kind of made maybe it's an early decision. Maybe I should have let, you know, used a few more another minute or something and thought about what to do. I also could have just rerolled the blitz because a knockdown would have made it a lot easier to stall. But then on the other hand, I still wouldn't want to just get knocked over and maybe the knockdown would have been good. Hard to say what was the best move there, really, I think. But I think I probably should have stalled just because, you know, if you give a good coach two turns to score, they're probably going to score. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and now he got a reroll as well from the kickoff. Although I got one, but I was unlikely to stop him without a reroll as well. So it swings both ways. I um, I think I probably should have tried the stall even without a reroll. 
because he, he had to use his tackle guy to get the hit, so he couldn't hit me with tackle, and he couldn't base me with tackle either. So I would have had the uh, I would have had the dodge skill to just score anyway if if I wasn't knocked over. If I was knocked over, it would have been trickier. But yeah, maybe maybe I think. Looking back again, I think I definitely should have stalled now. <laughs> but at the time, it's hard. It's hard to make the calls, isn't it? And you know, you get, you get a bit, uh, a bit, you know, twitchy thinking. I've got, I've got to just, just got to get the points on the board. He might, he might fail the pick up or fail the handoff or whatever. You know, there's things you can fail, especially without without re rolls. Um, but yeah, I mean, I couldn't cover the sidelines without exposing my dancers. Maybe I should have done. But you know, this was this was an easy one dice on the ball, and uh, oh well, <laughs> I've given the game away. Another another successful dodge there. This was an absolutely huge bolt down, which gave me an easy one dice on the ball. And I thought for ages because I was thinking, I don't even really know what I was thinking. I was thinking, could I get a two dice but I didn't need a two dice it's a two plus to get the ball off him so I actually ended up running out of time here which is pretty unforgivable isn't it um, I was thinking like could I have GFI with a tree and have an extra player to react and I was thinking lots of things and yeah I just ended up I ended up running out of time and one two three four five six so it's seven squares by the time I've hit him. And the ball goes there. So I've got I've got three squares left. So what I should do now, looking back, is leap to here, pick it up on a four plus with a reroll, and then dodge out to here. And yes, I, I could get surfed, but um it would have been a really strong position for stopping him scoring, wouldn't it? Um, what I wanted to do was leap here and then dodge to there, which I'm not even sure how good it was. I dodged to there, you know, no, dodge to there was my plan. I'm not even sure how good that was, but what happened was I leaped to there and ran out of time, just in desperation because I was running out of time. Um, but yeah, I think definitely leaping to get the pickup would have been better. Um, this just gives me an easy chain out, so it wasn't really, didn't really do a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I was, it was probably, probably poor in the end, but I should have even, either left him where he was, or, um, or done the right play, <laughs> but I'd wasted so much thinking about if I could dodge around a recovery and, and all this kind of stuff, what should I do, you know, that, that's where I wasted all the time. Makes the pick up, and makes the handoff, and it's 1-1, one, one. so... Well, I thought I'd played really well that half to, uh, you know, against the perfect defence and everything and losing lots of players and the tree being out for large portions of the drive. I, I did think I played well, but, you know, he did a good two-turn uh, score and, you know, I could have defended it better. You know, I did run out of time. There's no excuses for that. Overthought stuff and, yeah, maybe I should have should have gone for the stall. But, you know, it's it's easy to have the balls to stall when you're watching it back or when you're watching somebody else's game, you know. Um, like, like, like I, you know, I'm treating, you know, I'm unbiased. This is what I'd be saying if it was someone else playing there. I, ooh, I think you should have stalled there. And I, I think I probably should have done. But it's it's easy to say that's the, you know. And it's still not, it's still not clear that was the optimal play to stall, you know. But uh, looking back, I think I should have done. I don't like his position of his pommet here, getting stuck on my tree. If he, uh, you know, it's not good, is it? If his ogre boneheads, he's getting two diced and by mighty blow. Or if that's if he hasn't piled on, I guess, but still. A little bit dodgy, you know, even if he piles on, he still gets stuck on the tackle zone, so. So yeah, he's done kind of the standard anti-blitz setup that I like. And yep. Yeah, he's done actually my anti blitz setup. No, he hasn't. I like one forward there. So he's nearly done my anti blitz setup. And don't get a blitz. So. 
Yeah, when I when I see him running back to cover, I'm like, oh hello, might might be able to split the team here. Maybe. So two seventy five percent knock oh no, this one wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was. Two seventy five uh, he's got dodge, so a fifty five percent knockdown failed and seventy five percent knockdown failed. But the thing is, is his ogre dominates my tree by the ogre having block, doesn't he? Maybe I could have put block on the tree. That might not have been terrible. Uh, but I think Mighty Blow offers so much value, the fact you're going to make about 16 blocks with Mighty Blow over the course of the game. Not that I got to in this one, because it was fouled a bit and stuff. I, 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 and I hung him out to dry a little bit. Maybe I should have looked after him better. Yeah, in the end, he brings these guys a bit back, and I can't really. I haven't got the players, and I'm too far back to really get in between them. So I'm like, right, <laughs> I've got seven elves. Treemon fails to stand up. I've got seven elves, and I've got to make. I've got to stall them out for the whole half to get to overtime. So <laughs> it's not it's not an easy task, is it? And then maybe if I stall him out for long enough, he'll expose the ball. And I can get a hit, you know, and then get the counter touchdown. But you know, I don't really want to go crazy here. I want to, I want to keep him in front of me, and then hope that he makes a bit of a break that I can then capitalise on. You know, because he's got such, a, he's got a pretty uncrackable cage with guard and sure hands. Um, it's never going to be easy to get him while he's in full caging mode. So I think if I just try to slow him down for as long as possible. L screen, but with uh, missing quite a few players. That was my, that was my goal. You know, like he's t keeping the guard next to the ball and tackle and everything. You know, so there's there's no chance of like a a leap in there at all. Gets the assist, but doesn't make it three dice. Oh no, he hits the other one. Yeah, but still he had the assist but didn't make it three dice. It's the Kaz anyway. Right, now we've got <laughs> now I've got six L's to try and stall out the half. <laughs> so fail the tree again. Brilliant. So I could have gone the mighty blow blitz on the catcher. But again, because I'm trying to keep him, you know, trying to stall him out as much as possible, I think. Go for the positional blitz. I wouldn't have broken armor with Mighty Blow as it happened. But yeah, go for the positional blitz rather than the Mighty Blow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I could have got back and still had a line. But I, I like knocking him over rather than kind of an irrelevant guy. You could argue that was wrong, I guess, if you wanted. Well, no, it's not wrong. You couldn't argue it's wrong. You could have argued I could have blitzed the catcher, but you can't argue it was wrong. <laughs> I did expose the thrower here, and he took the hit. Obviously, he can't re-roll with the possibility of overtime, and only two re-rolls anyway. So there was no way he could re-roll that, which I was pretty grateful of, seeing as I haven't used the leader re-roll yet. Yeah, you know, he's still... He's, he's got to keep the ball really protected, so he's keeping it protected, but he's not moving forward, is he? So... I'm quite happy here with how this half's going so far. Apart from the tree never standing up. Tree fails again. So still trying to defend with six elves. <laughs> Now it's a lot easier to hit the catcher with my with mighty blow. I even thought about tagging the catcher and then getting the assistant hit in the palm, but I thought it's just not worth it, is it? You know, I'm I'm trying to stop him score here. So let's do the positional blitz. And nothing. No. He finally boneheads first first time in the match on turn turn twelve. <laughs> Which was pretty special. Now 
how he's he's moving up, moving in contact because he thinks it's turn 12. He's he's kind of got to get forward. And uh, yeah, he leaves the surrounded by guard. And he blitzes the thrower again. And obviously piles on because if he can get rid of the leader, that's a reroll as well. Does not get rid of the leader reroll. Now, can you spot what he's done wrong? Um, I'll tell you what he's done wrong. He's given me a one dice block or an uphill if I'm crazy to chain out his his thrower to either here or here. Um, what I'm thinking now, I make a mistake this turn as well. But let's get into that later. I've been act standing the treatment up first action every single turn, but I don't this time because I want to GFI to base the pawn. Um, so I get the push. Now I do have to dodge away from the tackle, there was no way I could have not dodged away from tackle on this turn. But obviously I wanted to do the block first for more chance of the reroll on it. Need to have that so it's a one dice on the ball. Get the pow, you know, which is which is pretty lucky isn't it, 50-50 to get it. Um, I guess I would have used the reroll so, you know, I had, a f I had quite a few rolls but... And then I pass the turn and forget to try to stand up the tree. Now, he's been so bad at standing up, it's not that bad. But it would have, even if I'd just stood him up and not GFI'd, you'd have still got in the way, wouldn't he? The, you know, the catcher runs past to get to there. So, yeah. I think that was definitely a mistake, not just standing him up. Maybe, maybe I should have GFI'd. Maybe not. Maybe I should have just stood him up at the start, you know, like a... Like I probably should have done, <laughs> but that was a big mistake by Arnhem, I think, giving me the give me the one dice on the ball. Great, great both down there for me. You know, tackle hitting dodge makes the pick up, but and the actual stun was really lucky, so he couldn't pick it up with the thrower again. So now strip ball comes into play. So the leap strip ball play now becomes huge. This is a little bit greedy by Arnhem here because because the dancers, you know, so this is actually works out well for me. The, the tree stunned because now he, he GFIs <laughs> to hit the the tree I, that I didn't stand up the tree actually works out because he GFIs to hit the hit the dancer so if I actually stood up the tree I might have been in a worse spot here um, <laughs> this time I remember and of course it fails to stand up yet again um, while he was in the perfect position to score he's also the only one who can really cancel this assist which is where I want I want to be blitzing from here to push it back and give myself a chance of a decent recovery. Again, I get wow, this was a two plus because of strip. So the power in the Kaz there isn't that lucky because the important thing was the strip. Um, he does apo him, fails the catch there, and it's in two tackle zones, which is you know really still a good good scatter for me overall. And uh, yeah, arguably I make a mistake here as well. Um, eh, not really. Not really a mistake. I don't think. Again, I don't think you'd call this a mistake. Um, but I've still got my. I've still got um, three GFIs here. Maybe I should have just GFI'd every single square. Get as far away from the tackle as I can. Um, yeah, thinking thinking about it later, and maybe I could have GFI'd three times and then just punted it to there. Um, because, you know, if the ball's closer to, to his end zone, he ain't going to score. You know, he's only got three turns left. I've got movement eight guys with agility four and blodge. He's only got movement eight with agility three. So, yeah, maybe a punt here would have been a good idea. But I really don't like punting, especially when I have the ball in a, on a blodger. Um, and then I double G if I stack them both because I think I need him there to screen. Um, but realistically, 
he, he blocks here, which is blocking from the wrong direction. He should have blocked this way to get people through, I think. But he gets a lucky power. If he hadn't got a power there, he'd have been in trouble. Um, but yeah, it was kind of too easy for him to get two dice onto the onto this uh, onto this lineman here from his catcher. It was kind of too easy. So maybe I should have made you know more GFIs. I don't know. I mean that, that was pretty greedy there, and it was it was great for him that he got the pal, but it was you know that lets him get the guard in there to make it three dice with tackle. Um, and he gets the pal. No AV break though, which is great for me, and a pretty good sc scatter for me as well. To be fair, it wasn't the worst. I mean, okay, it could have gone in one of these three, but he doesn't get the recovery either. And he goes for a random foul here. Um, right. So now this is the this is the big turn, isn't it? Now what can I do here? Oh, I thought I needed an assist to cut to hit this catcher, but I didn't. That's why I stood him up. He's a catcher. I could have just two diced him because of this count and assist. So I really, I really messed up there. I really thought this was a. I really thought I had to uh, I had to get an assist to block him. That was a bad mistake. It's pretty tricky though, isn't it? So I could have I could have cleared him. And I could have maybe just gone three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. It's not nice though, is it? But only one tackle zone on the ball. Oh. Oh well I missed that. I didn't even think I could two dice block there. So that was that was a mistake. So I go for the scatter. Which, to be fair, could go great for me. Um, when you look at the scatter there, okay, he's got a catcher, but I can punch him. There's, there's these three squares are amazing. Well, kind of amazing because I can, I can block them and, and stuff. Um, if it goes there and off any of these, it's amazing. If it goes off in here, it's amazing. If it goes back here, it's not so good. Um, but I get the absolute worst scatter, which is. The thrower gets it. And then I run away because my plan was to blitz run away and then get the ball to him and screen him. And yeah, it was just really bad. See, I go there to 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 his Oh no 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 no. I wasn't thinking about blitzing the catcher. Okay, good. I didn't need an assist to blitz to hit the catcher. I thought I did, but what I actually needed was an assist here to block there. Okay. But I did think I needed an assist to hit the catcher. So maybe if I just hit the catcher. I could have maybe tried three plus pick up because it's not bad, is it, with a with a reroll? But I wanted the scatter to try for a two plus pick up, and you know maybe I shouldn't have gone for the scatter play there. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, if the scatter play works, it looks great. Um, I only had three minutes, and it was pretty hard to work out the optimal way of trying to clear those guys. You know, everything looked a bit bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, and and this was this was a pure misplay because I was just thinking I'll pass to him later, even though I couldn't. So he could have gone somewhere like here and still been relevant. Um, so that was that was a real misplay putting putting him up there. He should have st stayed around around the ball area. Absolutely. No, I could have. No, I couldn't. Yeah, because the, the throw had it. So yeah, I should have absolutely stayed around this neck of the woods. For sure, there's no way I should have gone there. You know, he stood here or wherever I could have stood. I should have stood somewhere affecting the play. He actually had to GFI twice. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he didn't have to GFI twice, but he made all the GFIs and dodges and everything. So <laughs> I ran him round so I could one dice blitz him. You know, it's still a four plus to get the ball. Although the strip isn't active, it is a 4 plus to get the ball on the deck. So it did that. Um, I don't really have anyone available to get the ball though. Whereas if this guy had been here, as he, you know, some, wherever he could have been, he could have gone and got it, couldn't he? So, you know, no, no doubt I made a mistake with him. I made a few mistakes this game. Um, I think Ornan made a few mistakes as well. Um, I think I, I think I played pretty great considering I had six L's to, to defend with. <laughs> I guess I was lucky to not lose any um, in this half. 
But you know, the tree just never standing up was horrific. Horrifically unlucky with the tree I was. And uh, he made this harder for himself than it had to be. He really did almost try to blow it here. This was, this was his worst turn actually. <laughs> Making all these moves that were really actually rather poor. Um, made it way harder than he needed to make it. Even this could have been a three dice, couldn't it? Oh, it was a three dice. Sorry, I had card. So he ends up four plus dodge, four plus pick up, and a three plus dodge to score. Which isn't isn't bad odds, really. I still have the chance for the counter to score. Um, I purposefully didn't try to stand up the tree on the last turn because I thought if it goes to overtime, I don't my tree. Maybe he's getting blocked on the last turn. And he makes the pick up and the dodge and everything. So he's winning 2-1, but I've got the chance to one turn. Um, you need seven players to one turn with elves, with wood elves, or skaven. I only had six. So <laughs> what I had to do was rely on a touchback or, you know, running back later to pick up with somebody. Um... So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't an ideal chance of a one turner, <laughs> but there there was a bit of a chance of a one turner. He sets up like how I set up to stop one turners. Nearly, I actually set up um, these guys one closer. No, yeah, one closer. So here and here, and what that means is you can't hit from the diagonal. He he set them up one square back, and I so I could still hit from the diagonal. Um, now, as it happened, I didn't have enough players to utilise Blitzen from the diagonal. Um, and, but I was thinking of Blitzen from the diagonal. So I blitzed with a tree for really no reason. Well, it would have been a three dice. It wasn't. No, it wasn't three dice. I couldn't. I couldn't afford the assist. That's right. I literally could, didn't have the players to afford an assist to the blitz. That's correct. I needed all these players where they were. So I could not get an assist for the Blitz. So for that I used the tree. Now we get a pitch invasion. And it's a really good pitch invasion. It knocks out his back line. The Ogre. So now there's not a tackle zone there. And my uh, elf catches it here. So all I have to do is not take root. So, <laughs> so I'll take root. Loner and take root again. So the play would have been blitz here, push him to there. Um, this guy, this this dancer. Oh, <laughs> this guy maybe does a three plus dodge into him there. No, no, this dancer has to go. This dancer has to go around here. Then he blocks him into there, which pushes him up to here. Then he goes around. Oh, no, maybe I needed him stood up, actually. I think I needed him. So, yeah, okay, I think I couldn't have done it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So it looks like I couldn't have done it anyway. But I felt robbed by the take route. Oh, well, so much for expert analysis there. I think I think the stun on my guy meant that I couldn't do it. Um, but, you know, never mind. 16 AV breaks to 5, and they pretty much... All the removals came in the first half, which you know meant me I had to defend with six for the whole half. And I guess I did get lucky in the second half to not take more removals. Um, looking at the dice rolls, he made six dodges and made them all, which when you're three pluses, that's pretty good. 14 bone heads only failed one. Um, that's pretty good. His catches weren't good, but they were scatters. Pickups were amazing, which is what you need against Wood Elves. You know, if he'd failed some of the pickups, I would have got half a chance. Um, 17, 30, 15, so he did have bad POWs, you'd have expected, you know, he got a lot of pushes, well, no, sorry, 20, yeah, 27, 30, 25, what did I, did I just take 10 off, so actually totally average dice, 27, 30, 25, slightly short on POWs, but not a lot, um, I went 17, 15, 18, so quite good, though I did have to use rerolls on double skulls and both down, and yes, for some reason, I've lost the D6s there. Dodges were perfect, 83%, as you would expect, even though one with two were three pluses, I think. 
so slightly higher than average dodges. Take root was slightly higher than average, though one was a double one, and loads of them didn't matter because I just wasn't standing up. That's the killer there, stand up. <laughs> one passed and seven failed. One missed as well, though that kind of worked out in a way. Um, wake up after KOs weren't good. Going for it were quite good. The leaps were good. So, you know, overall, I didn't, I didn't really get bad dice. Um, I guess apart from, you know, the, the, the standing up of the tree was really bad. The tree was really bad. Um, looking back, it doesn't look like I played as well as I thought I did at the time. At the time, I thought I played great. You know, I was defending with six players. The stress was, was real, defending with six players. Um, maybe I could, you know, I think the screen was a real big mistake. I think not stalling was an arguable mistake but I would call it a mistake and then the not leaping was definite mistake so yeah I actually made quite a lot of mistakes you know if I was super analyzing Ornan's play maybe I would have found a lot of mistakes for him obviously the huge one was giving me the chain out on the ball which you know when you're playing against six elves to kind of leave them a, such an easy one dice on the ball was uh, was a big mistake from him but you know overall he definitely played well so congrats to him I do feel like I've played better than a lot of the people who've won two games. But, you know, I, I did make, I guess, too many mistakes in that game. or You know, marginal, arguable mistakes. Um, so, yeah, fair enough. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.